What's going on to the best squad on YouTube? This is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T. Got a beautiful looking pair of the classic unions to take a look at today. If you guys are new to this channel, come on and subscribe down below. Also connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK, where I will be uploading some additional detailed images of this particular sneaker. Now, before we get started, people, first things first, my reviews are for educational purposes only. I repeat my reviews are an analysis and for educational purposes only let's go ahead and get a look at what we got as you guys can see you got the beautiful union box well this is the new i guess unique or special projects box for the jordans love it love everything about this box one of my favorite boxes um ever from uh nike and jordan brand anyway let's go ahead and get a look at what we got today like i said we have the air jordan one union one of the best collaborations of all time still i haven't seen any jordan one that's beating this yet paper is looking pretty good taking up most of the box edge on the union on the paper i have had these retail people and please i know what to look for anyway let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out today we have the whew, union Air Jordan 1 Storm Blue. Just a beautiful colorway. Just just beautifully done. Just beautifully executed. I think it's a, a sample floating around of uh, how this was going to look before they finished this. If I find a picture, I'm going to go ahead and put it up. Anyway, these are looking good. I mean, <laughs> these are looking damn good. Anyway, you see you have this very nice tumbled leather. It is very nice and naturally tumbled. It is a little bit heavy, but it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Nice, soft. I mean soft leathers on the upper some of the key things you want to look for on the edge on one union is first the stitch lines should be kind of even and then they should bunch up under this right here that is correct union la looking really good got that sort of a heavy black dye with the uh nice sort of a i guess you can say faux fur up at the top of this is supposed to represent like crackling over time edge old wings logo is supposed to be overextended now i know this is a point where people thought that it was supposed to be hanging over this that's not true the seam here the straight line it's not true as long as it's big and taking up most of the top up here it's not supposed to be over here or be, uh, behind here it is inconsistent that is one of the parts that is inconsistent on the edge old wings logo on the unions very nice sale bottom toe box looking very good I mean, it's leather. Look at that guy. Damn. On a toe box everywhere. Now, the one part that was kind of beat to hell, I will say a couple of years ago, is the vintage style paint around the upper or the edges of the leather. Now, this was normally being painted. Now, however, it is painted on retail sneakers as well. But uh, my retail was like painted up here. I always say that when I do this review. Uh, up in this area but it was some of these were coming where it was painted all over the shoe and it's not supposed to be like that you should supposed to somewhat be able to get this vintage paint off you can see it i ain't gonna beat it up too much because i don't want to take it off and this is done the correct way anyway medial side we're looking really good that leather this leather is whew, that leather good man whew, just a beautiful looking sneaker anyway jump boy and union with the frosted tag you got the gloss on the jump boy just a very nice looking shoe these look really good and if you didn't know the nike swoosh is overextended sort of a bigger nike swoosh the old school swoosh and it is a new buck on the nike swoosh here you can see the difference in colors right there that was one of the things that threw me off when i first got it i was like why the hell the nike swoosh is a different color i was like oh it's a different material anyway let's check out the other shoe right quick and you know we jumping on up out of here so i left this one undone let me check out the tongue the yellow stitch nike air up top the vintage style paint is looking good we are looking good in the neighborhood leather i mean that leather that's gonna just look look that's what you want that's just gonna wear nice look at that i mean it's just so soft just so soft look at that look at that that's a beautiful thing right there man Whew. i love when that leather look like this now i know some people will be wanting me to do this test while i do this this feels about right this feels about right and keep in mind there's some there's some you get from the store you can bend it like a taco so hey it's a, that's turning out to be an inconsistency as well anyway you got the yellow laces looking very good and then you have the secondary uh black 
and cream laces which are from black to cream instead of cream to black above all these are looking really good the leather is nice soft and plush these are going to wear and turn really good just as a beater everything is looking good very good knocked out stitch line looking good wings logo looking very good nice and hefty sized hourglass on the boot no yeah i like the hourglass on the boot yeah man these are these are nailed these look really good i don't there's not a time where i get tired of doing the storm blues because they're just that good i have i do get some pairs that they just mess up here or you know kind of mess up on the nike swoosh but for the most part they've been pretty good they've been pretty good and uh these <laughs> i mean that's just like i remember anyway let me know what you guys think about the union storm blues down below this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t amen i love y'all we out